Bom dia, this is Brian Dean calling from England, um, former Benfica player, uh, and uh, I just want to um, wish you all the best from here in England. Um, under the present circumstances, um, I just hope everybody is being sensible um, and staying strong together. Uh, we'll get through this uh, pandemic. Uh, I'm here to talk about uh, my favourite goal. Uh, in Portugal, uh, had a wonderful time there. Uh, played with some fantastic players. Some of them are still friends: uh, Paulo Madeira, uh, Nuno Gomes, um, Bruno Bastu. Uh, players like that um, have remained. Uh, I've remained in contact with them for quite a while. Um, but I want to talk about uh, my favourite memories. Uh, two memories stand out to me. Um, both goals, uh, one against Porto uh, in the 3-0 victory um, at the Stadium of Light, the old Stadium of Light. Frente ao Salgueiros no próximo... Olha que perigoso, veio de gola! Benfica, magnífica a desmarcação para Brian Dean e inaugurar o marcador. 16 minutos, primeira parte. Benfica marca por Brian Dean. Arranja o espaço, não falhou. Exatamente, deslocação primorosa de Brian Dean. Houve ali uma falha de marcação de Lula. Ficou surpreendido com o passo do, do, do jogador do Benfica que colocou a bola em Brian Dean. Rotação primorosa. Rico Rey nada podia fazer. O Dean não deu espaço sequer ao Rico Rey de deixar o ângulo e colocou a bola no sítio por cima. Si. Ora, para rever, não é propriamente o pontapé de um tosco, nem uma desmarcação de tosco. Não, é, é tudo bem feito, tudo bem feito. Meio, meio chapéu, mas uh, onde o Brian Dean realmente ganhou o lance completamente, foi na sua rotação rapidíssimo e à saída do Rico Rey colocou a bola no sítio por cima. Si. Ora, vamos rever agora de dentro da baliza. Colocadíssima a bola. But the, the main goal that stands out for me was uh, the fall won Lisbon derby uh, and I, I scored one of the goals in that um, it was a strange day fantastic atmosphere uh, and, and I, what I remember most was that I got put through 1v1 with um, a chase for the ball um, with the centre back and I pushed it past him and the goalkeeper came out and I dinked it over him, a little chip over him, and it rolled into the back of the net. Um, and I walked away, well, I, I, I kind of ran away with my arms out, uh, and it was the kind of dream celebration that I'd always thought about um, for that kind of a goal. Um, absolutely fantastic. Um, so the other thing that I want to tell you about was that um, during my time, this was the actual shirt from that day, actually. Um, but one of the things that was really funny about that time was every time we got into the changing rooms ready for a game, I would uh, look at the kit man and we'd talk and I'd say, look, have you got a shirt to fit me yet? And um, the sh <laughs> fortunately for me, the shirts were always the same length. So if you look at the arm length, that's what I had to put up with. So if you can imagine, I'm running away from goals like that. But it was fun, it was great, and I absolutely love this shirt. More so, for me, it's a little bit more iconic than the shirt we had in the second season um, that I was in Portugal, uh, playing for Benfica. But um, overall, fantastic experience, wonderful people, and uh, I aim to see a lot more of um, Portugal now I'm getting old and grey. So... Um, have a nice day and um, good luck over there with the current situation.